Hey guys, this is Vignesha from Phone Arena. This is week 32 of 2017 and you're watching Phone Arena Weekly. Xiaomi launched its Redmi Note 4 smartphone in the Indian market with Snapdragon 625 chipset running on MIUI 8 and Android 6.0 Marshmallow on top earlier this year. As per the latest report, the company has finally started rolling out Android 7.0 Nougat update for the smartphone along with the MIUI 8.5.4.0 OT update as a nightly build. Xiaomi calls it as a beta stable release before the final update. Nokia 6 was announced back in India in June at a price of Rs 14,999 exclusively on Amazon. Today, Amazon India has announced that the phone has over 1 million or 10 lakh registrations ahead of its first sale on August 23rd. Giving a heads up about its specifications, the Nokia 6 sports a 5.5 inch display powered by an octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 430 chipset with 3 gigs of RAM. And also, it supports 4GB LTE and has a 16 megapixel rear camera and an 8 megapixel front facing camera as well. Today, Xiaomi India's Vice President and the Managing Director Manu Kumar Jain tweeted that the company is going to launch a new smartphone with a dual camera setup in India next month. The smartphone will likely to be the Mi Fi X that was introduced in China last month. The Mi Fi X has a 12 megapixel dual rear camera, one with a wide angle lens and other with a telephoto lens offering a portrait mode, background blur and more features. OnePlus has just introduced its limited edition soft gold version of the OnePlus 5 smartphone and it will be available in the Indian market starting from August 9. As per the company, it uses an advanced sandblasting process so that the finish of a soft gold OnePlus 5 is 30% finer than that of the previous OnePlus soft gold devices. The soft gold version of the OnePlus 5 smartphone is priced at Rs 32,999 which is same as that of the slate grey version and will be available exclusively on Amazon. Panasonic, as promised, has launched its mid-range smartphone dubbed as Eluga A3 and A3 Pro in the Indian market. The company has signed Tapsi Panu as its brand ambassador in addition to Varun Dhawan who is the existing brand ambassador for its smartphone business. The Panasonic Eluga A3 and A3 Pro comes in mocha gold, gold and grey colours and priced at Rs 11,290 and 12,790 respectively. Following the launch of A1 and A1 Plus, the Chinese handset maker Jioni has yet again launched a selfie-focused smartphone dubbed as A1 Lite. This the smartphone comes with a 20 megapixel front facing camera and has a 5.3 inch HD display and powered by octa core MediaTek MT6753 processor. The Gioni A1 Lite comes in gold and black color with a price tag of Rs 14,999. This week, Lenovo has launched its latest mid range smartphone dubbed as K8 Node, which is the successor of K6 Node, skipping the K7. This device comes with a unibody metal design and has a fingerprint sensor on the back and also comes with the Lenovo's usual Theater Max tech and a Dolby Atmos. As far as the specification concerned, this device Sports a 5.5 inch 1080p display and is powered by a Deca Core MediaTek Helio X23 chipset and also runs on Android 7.1.1 Nougat. The Lenovo K8 Note comes in fine gold and Venom black colors, carrying a price tag of Rs 12,999 for the 3 gigs version and a 13,999 for the 4 gigs version. It is available exclusively on Amazon starting from August 18. Following the launch of G6 flagship smartphone, LG has launched its mid-range smartphone dubbed as Q6 in the Indian market. This device comes with a 5.5 inch Full HD Full Vision display with 18 is to 9 aspect ratio and has a facial recognition and a multi-grade durability. It runs on Android 7.0 one nougat and has a 7000 series aluminum frame as well. In terms of specifications, this device is powered by a octa-core Snapdragon 435 mobile platform and has a 3 gigs of RAM inside. The LG Q6 comes in Astro Black, Terra Gold and Ice Platinum at a price of Rs 14,990 and will be available exclusively on Amazon. After lots of speculations and rumours, Samsung has finally announced its Galaxy S8 Active Regard smartphone with the shock, shatter, water and dust resistant features. It has a metal frame and a bumper to protect against shock, abrasion, tilting or twisting and will be exclusively available from AT&T for limited time. It has a Bixby assistant similar to that of a S8 series of phones. It seems Apple will launch its iPhone 8 in September after all. In addition to iPhone 8, Apple will be launching iPhone 7s and iPhone 7s Plus at the same event. Apple is set to begin production verification tests on iPhone 8 in late August that will be followed by mass production in mid-September. As mentioned earlier, the iPhone 7s and 7s Plus are expected to resemble the predecessor and feature the same LCD display while the iPhone 8 will come with the edge-to-edge -edge OLED display as well.